So what psychopath's going to stand up for 2019? I bet they're wearing green. It's Kermit the Bid. It's not easy being green. Absolutely. All right. Uh, for 2018, you have five minutes for presentation time. Is there any... Sorry, for 2019, you do not have 19 minutes. You still only have five minutes. Um, do you have a video presentation, or is it you? PowerPoint? Just, just PowerPoint. Okay. So 2019 for Dublin, Ohio, go. <laughs> Dublin, Ireland, I should say. First off, thanks very much indeed for giving us the time to speak this evening. It's absolutely fabulous to be here in Texas. Last time I was here, I was with an area head working on a Worldcon, and it's just great to be back here now presenting a Worldcon bid, bringing it back to my hometown, my home country of Ireland. My name is James Bacon, I'm the bid chair for the Dublin 2019 bid, and tonight with me I have Tammy Coxon, who is our US agent, and Steve Cooper, who is uh, running our facilities uh, on behalf of the Dublin team. Next slide, please. It's been a great couple of years since we launched at LongCon. At this point, we have 850 supporters, 150 of which are at the friend or higher level. Uh, we've also got a lot of volunteers who volunteer both to help with the bid and also to help with the convention should we win. Uh, we've been doing a lot of promotions. In, within Dublin, we uh, gave away 3,000 books to fans at the Dublin Comic Con, which was held at our uh, facility, which is the Convention Center Dublin. We've also been present at a lot of uh, the all the major Irish conventions, where we gave away cake, which people really appreciated. Uh, we have um, some major promotions planned in 2016 to 2017, so please all get prepared to wear green and show your uh, Dublin pride on St. Patrick's Day. Uh, we've got a very active social media site. If you're not already a friend on Facebook, you should join to tune into Irish Fiction Fridays. And we'll also, of course, be appearing at national and international cons. So please let us know if you'd like to help us at a bid table or a uh, party. Uh, next slide. So hotels. We're a long way off actually finalizing any of the hotels, uh, but we've already talked to a number of hotels and we've found a thousand rooms or so that meet our current criteria uh, on location, and uh, they're averaging currently around $200 uh, per night. That includes breakfast and all taxes, so it breaks down to $20 tax, $30 for the breakfast, and about 150 for the room. Um, we, but we're also conscious of price, and we have a lot of Eastern Europeans who need to come to the convention. And so we're also looking at a lot of budget accommodation. And we've got the, currently got the equivalent of another 300 rooms in budget accommodation of uh, apartments and university accommodation, and that averages at about $60 uh, per night per person. Next slide. This is one of the reasons we're not finalizing our accommodation anywhere near yet, in that Dublin is continuing to grow as a destination and there are lots of new hotels on the horizon. We already know of about three that are in the planning works. One should be due very shortly, which is a new hotel on O'Connell Street, which is a Holiday Inn. We're also looking at the possibility of a Natasha Hotel on the Convention Centre itself. Uh, that, that, the badge for that has not been agreed. And then there is another hotel that's been redeveloped, which is just to the uh, east, yeah, east of the Convention Centre, uh, very close by, which is an old railway hotel. Next slide. Here's a, a tourist map of Dublin city centre, and we've got some at the back of the room if anyone would like them. Just so you can see, that's the River Liffey travelling through the centre of Dublin. So we have a north side and south side. To the east, we have the sea. Two and a half miles from the uh, convention centre, which has our green logo on it there, is the ferry port that takes ferries to Britain. Eight miles north, we have an airport. And that map is about three miles wide. And really, within that map is all the sites that you want to see in Dublin. It's got all our major uh, uh, museums and also history historical sites. Um, the cent dead centre of the city is less than a mile from our convention centre. It's a downtown city centre convention. Yeah. Next slide. <laughs> Right, the uh, convention centre. Uh, it's a beautiful new build. I'm not sure exactly when it was first built, but it's only been 2010, so it's only been open for four, four or five years. It's a beautiful site. Um, we've got more program space uh, than Longcon had, actually, from what I've worked out. Um, the auditorium may be a little small, but we have an idea to extend that into another space that will give you a choice to make, a very hard choice for some of us. <laughs> Um, and that's about it. It's great flexibility. It's a new centre. It meets all the Irish and European uh, accessibility um, regulations. There's not much more to say about that, really. Okay. 
Oh, I should say one last thing. Uh, my chair is very excited about this. We are currently in the midst of uh, agreeing a sliding scale for the actual high So we'll get the whole convention centre for, for a price that will be dependent on our membership. Next slide, please. So our next steps are the usual. We're going to continue our negotiations with the CCD. We're going to be working with all of you, uh, our committee and GO structure. We're going to be prepared to win, um, so we'll be working on those in the upcoming year. Um, and then, as I said, you know, we'll continue our social media efforts and recruiting all of you. So we look forward to having you in Dublin, and please uh, get out and vote. All right, that is time.